What is up guys, we're gonna real beat and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a dark trap beat with bells. If you do end up enjoying the video, make sure you do hit that sub button and turn post notifications on so you don't miss a video. Let's hop right into it. All right, so let's go ahead and get started and I want this to be super beginner friendly. So this is gonna be super simple, um, but we're gonna still try to make a really nice beat. Uh, so BPM 127, that's just kind of my default nowadays. Um, it will change eventually, but I just really like this one for some reason, I don't know. Uh, so scale let's we're gonna use a minor um let's use a c minor because it's kind of like the most basic one everyone probably knows that um so in here we just have a bell it's just a custom bell it's literally just a bell with just effects super simple tape delay just some reverb okay you can replicate that very easily um so let's go in here and i want this to be super simple so all we need Right now, if you want a dark vibe, you can combine a minor chord and a suspended chord, okay? If you don't know what that is, you can always go to stamps and you can pull down things like this. So this is kind of the shape of a suspended. So this is a suspended second, and this will be like a suspended fourth, okay? Um, and combining these with uh, minor chords. And we could literally make a beat out of this, literally, All right? right and all we gotta do is add drums you see how easy it is okay so let's actually apply this to the scale okay and let's use i'm gonna just take these away um let's pull this up and pretty much we just need to animate it because we need to fill this space up okay uh, so this is our fifth and we know it's a fifth because pretty much if we go up here you can just oops, copy it down Okay, so you can just copy this fifth, but pretty much a fifth is just a chord, but you take out the middle note. All right, just to put it simply, I'm gonna zoom in. And I think this is a good zoom. Okay, and then let's just kind of mess around with these. Okay, and then for any beginners that don't know that are watching this, um, you have these tension areas or these half steps um, they're called that because there's no space in between, right? You can't put a note in between these notes like you can with this one, right? Um, these will make your beat sound sad or very dark, depending on the order that you use them. Uh, so if I can actually get it to shrink. Right, you can see it's kind of dark. All right, so we're going to kind of use those to our advantage. Um, let's take this G, pull it up an octave, and it's starting to get a little crazy. Let's do one at the end. And let's add some range and copy this up. And then I think let's take a C. Okay, so we're just using the same notes. And this is probably hard to look at. So I'm gonna try to shrink it so you can see the notes. Just fix this so it's not so ugly. All right, and let's see what that sounds like. Okay, and we can leave, literally leave it like that. And let's pull this over here. And then for our baseline, right? Cause this note will be our baseline. Okay. We're just gonna pull this down like this. So we're making a chord backwards like that. But we're just gonna use one of these notes. All right, so that is our melody. Um, what we can do also, and this is just for fun, uh, we can go up five. So we're in a minor, so if we go up five, um, it'll sound a little bit better, or you can go down seven and up five. So one, two, three, four, five. And this is how you get kind of those like weird transitions.
Okay, so I know we took a long time on the melody, but I want to make sure every skill level that's watching this can follow along. Um, because I kind of, you know, sometimes I don't really take into account, you know, the beginner, right, or like somebody who just started. So just want to kind of um, make a video focus on that. So let's go ahead and we can start on the 808. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start the 808. So pretty much you just want to take the bottom and a lot of you already know this. Um, so this, when I look at this, this is just a repeating pattern, right? We're just missing a note. Um, so we're just gonna take this and we'll do this side later. I'm gonna paste it in just like so. Shift D to make them smaller. And now we gotta play around. So if you don't know the 808 pattern areas, I have videos over this, but simply um, they're like this. But they're pretty much these areas. And this is universal through the whole entire uh, bar or you know section that we have. And then what you can do is play around with on the grid, off the grid, right? So I hope I'm able to, okay. All right, so you can play around with some of these so you can do something like, right? Um, and then you can kind of bounce it. Let's probably do something like that. Okay, now we're gonna take these away because they're messing up the pattern. Um, but that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing in a nutshell. So let's copy this over. Um, turn that up and we can just kind of let this play out. All right, so. All right, so now we're gonna copy this over and do the same thing. So up five, one, two, three, four, five. Um, and now what we can do is kind of combo some things so we can pull this one up an octave, same note, up an octave, and then we can do the same thing over here. And this is just for fun. You don't need to do this. This is kind of overboard, but it's just to kind of make your beat stand out a bit, um, but just don't go too crazy. So let's play it. Okay, so that is the 808 and that was the hardest part. So now we just gotta throw some drums in and then I'll just talk about effects after. All right, so let's go ahead and start the drums. So I'm gonna try to make this quick just cause we spent so much time on the melody in the 808. Um, I just want to make sure I thoroughly explain that stuff um, just for any beginners watching. So um, if you don't know, you can right click and cut itself for your 808. I forgot to mention that. Um, so for our snare, let's just pop one in and then put our layer, our clap with it. You don't have to do this. I just like the sound of it. And then we're gonna turn this up. Okay, and if you can also turn it up from over here too in the graph editor. I'll just turn it up just a little bit more. All right, so now you can come over here to this loop mode, right click, set to next bar, and it'll just loop it all the way through and you don't have to add anything else. And so I can quickly come over drum patterns so now you just kind of play around with the hi-hat and, and the snare roll. Okay, so you can just kind of mess around. Kind of want to play around with this a bit. Let's right click, set the next bar, right click, set to next bar, and we can raise it slightly. All right, so let's listen to the beat. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So lastly, what I wanna do is just go over some effects that you can use um, just to, I guess, master and make it sound um, cleaner. All right, so I just wanna go over the most important effects you need to be having on this um, stuff, especially when we want like hard hitting 808s. Um, so for the drums, and I know it's a lot to look at, um, but for the drums, 
what you want to do usually is you can put your drums into a drum bus okay um so how you do that is you hold control you click and drag and then over the track that you want the sounds to go to you right click track routing route selection is track only and then everything will be routed to the track and there's other ways to do it but that's like the quickest um and then you want to kind of raise the um high frequencies here the, right so i just kind of just raise this up to my liking um and then i put a transient uh, processor on it now you don't have to do this um, but what I like to do is put the release, turn the release to the left and the attack up a bit. So it's like a little bit more punchy. Um, so if we mute it. You see how they're kind of like super, they have like a slow attack almost. But if we turn this up, they hit quicker. Okay. And the last thing that you want to add, um, if you have a loud 808, um, we have a EQ. Now this is more for the drums, so they're crispier. So we already went over that, but a soft clipper. Now I'm gonna give you a ratio. So if you right click reset, a good ratio is you want to pull it down times three of the value that it's at. So this is at about, we can just round it. It's at four, negative four dB. So four times three, um, you wanna hit about negative 12 dB and that's a good ratio to have it at, okay? Um, and a lot of these, these are just effects. Um, so we have reverse half time and we're just sending this signal to those but i didn't use this in the video um just i want it to be dry so that's pretty much it for the video hope you enjoyed make sure you like and subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one peace